It's been a really long time since I've sat down and filmed any kind of makeup video for those of you who are newer to my channel. When I first started making YouTube videos, they were all beauty related. So for years I did makeup tutorials and hauls. And then over time, my interests shifted away from that a little bit. I think partially because I really started simplifying my life, simplifying my routines. I wasn't trying out new products all the time and thus didn't really have new things to talk about with you guys. But the last couple of days I have been feeling so so nostalgic for the old days of beauty videos. And over the last year or so, whenever I've asked you guys either here or on Instagram what types of videos you would like to see, some people have requested an updated makeup routine. So that's what I'm gonna share with you guys today. I'm so excited to be sitting down here with all of my makeup. I don't know if I would call this a minimalist or minimal makeup routine because that definition is so different for everybody. I would say this is simplified, especially compared to what I used to wear. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm starting with a bare face. I don't have anything on except my moisturizer right now. And to be honest, this is what I look like most days. I don't wear makeup that often anymore. So if you were to run into me out somewhere, this is probably what my look would be. The first product that I use is concealer. I gave up foundation probably a couple years ago as well as primer. So I don't wear anything over my entire face anymore. I just spot conceal area areas that have redness or like under my eyes, I'll get like darkness there, any kind of blemishes. And the concealer that I'm currently using is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm the shade Vanilla. And I usually apply this underneath my eyes around my nose because I get a little bit of redness there as well as any blemishes that I have. I tend to get them down here in my chin area. And then I blend it all out with a Sigma Angled Kabuki F84 brush. Next, I'm going to be applying the Benefit Hula Bronzer. This is an oldie, but a goodie. This product has been around for so long and I've used this bronzer exclusively probably for a year, year and a half now. It's been a while that this is the only bronzer I've had in my bag. I'm also going to be using the MAC 140S brush, which I love for bronzer because it's kind of a paddle shape. So it's thin enough that you can kind of cut contours of your face with it. So I'm going to take some of this and I'm lightly applying this into the hollows of my cheeks, back toward my ear, and then kind of dusting up and down and onto my ear as well. I also like to put a little bit down on my jawline and blend it down my neck just a bit, and then up around my hairline and my forehead as well. However, now that I don't wear foundation anymore, I have this kind of blotchy brownish freckleish pattern up around my forehead. I see it more in the summertime. I don't know if it's melasma or freckling, um, but sometimes like I'll look up at my forehead and be like, wait, did I completely blotch on my bronzer? But no, it's just my skin. But I found that the less that I wear makeup, the more I've started to embrace the natural imperfections of my skin and they bother me less. Okay, so there's bronzer. I love bronzer. At the end, I'll just kind of go around and dust all over my face and a little bit on the sides of my nose as well. Okay, next let's talk about blush. Those of you who followed me back in the makeup days know I have a thing with blush. I still have a thing with blush. The blush that I currently have is Becca's Tiger Lily. This is such a beautiful orange. It definitely looks a little bit intense in the pan. And if you've never worn orange blush, this might look like kind of a crazy color to wear, but orange blush is amazing. It's one of my favorite colors to wear, especially in the summertime. And I've been wearing my blush a little bit different recently. I saw some guy on TikTok. I'm learning everything on TikTok these days. He posted a video about blush placement and he did each side of his face differently. He did one side placing the blush on the apples of his cheeks, which is where I've worn my blush for like ever. And then on the other side, I'll take a little bit of this and just show you. He said, instead of placing the blush on the apples of your cheeks, start up like by your temple and in like a circular motion, sweep it down and don't bring it all the way in to the apples of your cheeks, but almost like above where your bronzer contour would be. So that's how I've been wearing it recently and I kind of love it. To be honest, I've never quite been able to figure out where my blush should go for my face type. You know how they have these guides for your face shape and where you should position your blush? And I can never figure out exactly which one I am and which one should look best on me. So I don't know if this is right, but it's the way that I've been wearing it lately. Okay, next I'm going to move on to my brows and I'm starting with the Hourglass Arch Brow Pencil in the shade Soft 
soft brunette. I like to start with a pencil and then follow up with a brow gel because I have one eyebrow that is the worst. It's my right eyebrow. You can see that my left eyebrow is a model citizen. This eyebrow, however, has gone rogue. This starting bit here is trying to jump ship and like join the other eyebrow. It grows in this direction. It's patchy, part of it just grows straight out. So I like to use a pencil to fill in this bit to try and get it to match the other eyebrow. And I really like this hourglass pencil. I've gone through many of these and it's a great product. And then because this pencil isn't the exact same color as my eyebrows, I always just kind of lightly comb it all the way through so you can't tell a difference in color. And then I just lightly comb it through the other brow as well so they don't look uneven. And then next I am going to take my Benefit Gimme Brow Brow Gel. So just lightly combing this through to get everything set in place. Okay, so that is it for all of my face makeup. Now moving on to eyes. First up, I'm using another oldie but a goodie that I've loved for a very long time. It is the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I love this product because it doubles as both a concealer and a primer. I definitely have some veins on my eyelids like you can see they're kind of purpley red. So I like when my primers cover that up and make my eyelids look a little bit brighter. And then also this helps blend any eyeshadow and keep it from creasing throughout the day. And then for my eyeshadow, I actually don't use eyeshadow. For the last probably year and a half, I have been using my face bronzer for my crease contour. If you're going for a really natural makeup look, using the same color in all of the contours of your face is going to look the most seamless. And I love this trick because it means I'm carrying one less product. I'm just using this for two different things. So using a fluffy brush, I'm just kind of windshield wiping this through my crease. I'm not super careful with this and I just make sure to really blend it out. I also like to kind of pull it out a little bit at the ends to elongate my eye. And then I'll also concentrate a little bit on the very edge of the lid as well, almost making like a V shape. And then what I'll do for my lower lash line to apply a bit of this color is I'll just take my fingers and kind of inch them up to pinch the end of this brush and make it flat. And then I'll use the excess to run along the lower lash line. 2013 me is like screaming right now that I'm not using a pencil brush for this. But honestly, it works and it's one less product in my bag. Okay, and then sometimes I'll leave the eyeshadow look just like this. I won't add anything else. But if I'm feeling kind of fancy, I will add one of two products. The first one is the RMS Beauty Luminizer in Champagne Rosé. This is such a beautiful cream highlighter and you can use it anywhere on your face, on your cheekbones, on your eyelids. On the eyelids, it can crease, but if you're going for more of that glossy, dewy, messy look on the lids, then that might not matter to you. The other product I sometimes use is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Pearl, which is their just very white highlighter. And if I don't wanna do the glossy, dewy, kind of smudgy, creased look on my eyes, I'll tap a little bit of this on my lids. But in the spirit of showing you guys just how beautiful this is, I'm going to use this today. So I just get a little bit on my finger, and then I just very lightly concentrate this right in the center of my lid and kind of blend it out. Add a little bit on the other side. Just kind of tap around. This is also really pretty on the cheeks, but I tend to not wear any kind of highlighter when I'm filming now because I feel like all of the lights kind of make my skin look shinier than it is. Like it just reflects. Like I think my skin looks kind of shiny right now and it's actually not at all when I look at it in the mirror, but it's the reflection of just the lights bouncing off of it. Then for eyeliner, the eyeliner I have been using for a really long time now is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Demolition. This is a really nice matte, very dark brown. And to be honest, I'm not super careful with this or fussy about it. I don't care if it looks a little bit smudgy. Okay, then and for my lashes, I'm going to start with curling them. And then I'm first applying the Lancome Sills Booster XL Primer. I didn't used to use an eyelash primer, but this Lancome one really makes a difference. Comb this through, I don't apply a ton. The mascara that I've been using is the Lancome Grandiose Mascara. I really like the wand on this one. It has this bent angle to the wand that makes it really easy to move around your eye area. So I'm going to just wiggle this 
through my lashes, get my lower lashes as well. And that is my completed makeup routine. I don't really wear any lip products anymore. Sometimes I'll wear a tinted balm, but for the most part, I just prefer bare lips so that I can like drink and eat throughout the day and I'm not smearing stuff on glasses or on my face. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. It was a lot of fun sitting down and shooting a chatty makeup video. It's something that I kind of want to do more often now that I've sat down and done it today, even though I don't ever switch up my routine. That's kind of why I stopped doing so many of these videos is I just, I don't rotate products as much, but maybe I'll do like a quarterly update, like beauty update, because I do use stuff up and replace it. So maybe I'll start doing a little bit more of that when I have new stuff to talk about. All of these products that I used will be listed and linked down in the description. And if you're using anything great in your makeup routine right now, let me know what it is down in the comment below. Before I go, I want to say thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. If you need a website, any kind of website, whether that's a portfolio or a blog or a store or somewhere that you just want to put your resume and your credentials, Squarespace has so many beautiful layouts to choose from. And it's literally a drag and drop product. Process, and they have 24 seven customer service. So visit squarespace.com. They offer a free trial. You can sign up, design your site, get it looking the way you want it to. And then when you're ready to launch, visit squarespace.com slash Allison Anderson to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks for watching. I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.